Welcome, friends, as we begin to talk about baptism this week. We'll take you through each part of the baptismal service, each part of what we do when we baptize someone here at our church. So we begin with, right after the pastor welcomes everyone to the service, they ask this question, how are you to be named? And that's such a simple question, we would often just overlook that as part of the baptism, just a simple formality. But really, that takes us back to a tradition where parents would not tell other people what their child's name was until that child was baptized. And that's what we call a christening, where they actually get a name along with their baptism. And that's very symbolic, you know, that has a lot of meaning to that. I brought in my birth certificate today, uh, and this is kind of what we use nowadays to show what someone's name is supposed to be, right? It's got all this information about where I was born and who my mother was and what county I was born in and all kinds of things like that. But the most significant part of that right here is where it says my name, Joel Andrew Marquardt, and tells who I am. And baptism, we ask who someone's name is because just after that, the pastor then takes that person and they say their name and they say, receive the sign of the Holy Cross both upon your forehead and upon your heart to mark you as one redeemed by Christ the crucified. And in that, we see that Baptism was where God puts his name on us. He changes our name in a way to become part of his family. So we read from Matthew 16, chapter 16 of Matthew. Jesus has just uh, told everyone that he is a Christ and Simon Peter has confessed this. And then Jesus turns to Peter and says, I tell you, you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You see, Simon had always gone by that name, Simon. Until then, when Jesus says, you are to be Simon Peter, Peter meaning rock or Petros, which is like a hard rock. And he's telling Peter, I'm going to call you this from now on. No longer am I going to call you Simon. I'm giving you a new name because you are going to be the foundation for the church. You are going to spread the news of my death and resurrection to the world and you are going to be the foundation for the church. That's why he's going to call him Peter, like a hard, solid rock of a foundation. And so we're given a new name at baptism. Now, your parents probably don't call you a different name after you're baptized. Not anymore today. We don't do that. But you're given the name of forgiven. You're given the name of beloved child. You're given the name of part of God's family. That you become one of God's children at baptism. And that is who you are now. Just like our names tell us who we are and, and identify us to other people, God's name now identifies you as one of His people. Let's pray and thank God for this gift. Father, thank you for being our Father, for calling us your children, for giving us the new name, redeemed by Christ, loved, forgiven. Help us to remember these names when we struggle or have trouble finding our true identity. Let us look to you to see who we truly are and how you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. You may subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon or watch similar videos by clicking on the link.